Five Live Breakfast. Universities will be given the option to segregate lectures according to new guidance issued by the university leaders. University UK says asking men and women to sit separately would not be a problem unless one party is put at a disadvantage. In other words, if women are told to sit behind men. Uh, the news follows uh, lectures organised by Islamic societies that have hit the headlines for that reason. Salim Shagtai is from the Islamic Educational Research Academy, which has been banned at some universities for organising segregated lectures. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? All right. So Yasmin Alibi Brown, columnist and broadcaster, too. Hello, Yasmin. Um, Hello. Uh, Salim, what's the what's the ideological uh, justification for this? You know, free f f being against free mixing. Why do you want segregation? Well, it's not about wanting segregation. Uh, basically, what it is is that under the Equalities Act, two thousand and ten. We no, I'm, I'm not right. asking about the Equalities Act, I'm asking about the Quran and the Hadith. Oh, I see, from the Quran and the Hadith. Well, basically, what is encouraged in, uh, in, in Islamic uh, social events is uh, that uh, men sit with men and women sit with women. This is not something which is, which is, to be, uh, which is something which, uh, which we force by, by a gunpoint or anything like that. It's something that we have as a, as a, as a, as a tradition, as a culture, and it's something that uh, is part of our religion. So mm. this is something that we practice. Uh, we don't force anybody to do it, uh, because we do a lot of our events for non-Muslims as well. But it's something that we allow an option for many of our Muslim and non-Muslim counterparts, for example, from the Orthodox Jewish community as well. So, so if men and women are sitting separately, if, if there are people there who don't want to sit separately, for example, if I were there, and I, would I be able to sit amongst the women? Uh, well, n not in the... You would be able to. There would, normally what we would do, under guidance from... The Equalities Act is we'd have three sec we'd have three sections we'd have a men's uh, only section a women's only section and those who did not want to who wanted to sit uh, uh, with people of the other gender so we would allow that and that's something that we that we feel is, is giving people the choice who want to attend our event. Uh, Yasmin Alabai Brown, is this about choice? It, uh, whether it's by choice or not, it is completely unacceptable. And I speak as a Muslim, and I'm uh, amazed that this man, I don't know who he is, says it's in our religion. I am a Muslim. In my mosque, men and women pray together. We are not segregated in our mosque. Women lead the prayers. So please don't, don't say this is Islam. It is Islam as you would want it practiced. And in this society, which so many of us came to so that we would, we would leave behind the dark ages of Saudi Arabia and, and, and all those nations. You are making this country into Saudi Arabia. I find it astonishing that the university chancellors have agreed to this. Also, I find it uh, astonishing, Yasmin Ali by Baron. I think you should declare your interest here that you follow a very minority. I'm still a Muslim, and it's not your business yes. to say whether oh, I am or not. I, 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 I am a Muslim, as is my, my community practices Shia Islam. It's not in your hands to say whether I'm a Muslim or not. I, I, again, again, Yasmin, you're being a bit disingenuous. You follow the Ismaili thing, which is a very small thing. It does not represent the vast majority of mainstream Muslims. So and you represent you the mainstream it. Muslim voice, do you? Absolutely. Show absolutely. me that you do. I, 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 okay, well, I attend plenty of meetings which you're welcome to attend, which are attended by the I vast I would never attend one of your of meetings. Your brainwashers. Oh, dear. Well, that's a bit of a shame, because I'm having a, trying to have a civilised discussion with you. No, you're not. And all you're very doing. smooth, and you're very intelligent. But what you're oh, doing you. is... is absolutely introducing Wahhabi Islam into this nation. And Yasmin, we, dear, especially the, those Islam. of us Muslims, Yasmin, and we Muslims good. know what you're doing, but we're yeah, Yasmin, helpless. Believe me, believe me I have a, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a fierce critic of Saudi Arabia, something to do with Saudi Arabian Islam. It's about what is an orthodox norm to Islam before, any, before Saudi Arabia was even dreamt of. And these are the practices which we Let have me just get to one thing, if I may. Let me get to one thing, if I may. Is, separa is separation... <laughs> Because, and, and answer this straight, because the passions would be inflamed. No, it's not like that in Islam. The way, way, the way it really works in Islam... Uh, if you well, what, why it, then? Because in Islam, what the matter is, is that in Islam, we, because it's a God-given religion, it's a divine-based religion, God gives us various rules on how to interact so with... So why, why, why are these rules in place? Is God worried that in, passions will become inflamed? Shouldn't people be concentrating no. on the lecture anyway? No, it's not, it's not about the passion being inflamed, it's about... Well, what's the problem then? The, 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 the whole, because in Islam, we want to the, what God wants to do is to introduce a spiritual element to various... Well, why does God want people to sit apart? 
Because because it was God made human beings, and ultimately, surely it makes sense that we refer to God in these matters. So if there's something which is... But why does God want that? We're not saying that this is forbidden. We're saying that this is something which is something which God wants us to... Why does he in. want that? Why does she want that? Because the reason why he wants that is simply because he is God and he's got superior knowledge and intellect to all of us. That's why. But you, you, you don't have any inference from why he, she wants this. Well, the reason why he wants it, because he refers himself to he, I like the way you're putting in she there. The reason why he wants to do that is simply because he wants to do that. He is the one who, has, who knows how human beings benefit in the, most, in, in, the, in the best way. And therefore, when he puts various rules and, and regulations, it's for the overall holistic benefit of mankind. So for many, many, from, so for many, many angles. And that's the reason why, why, why we do that. I mean, come on, Nikki, you know as well as I do. When you're traveling the train, and people are people are sitting down uh, next to each other. There's a particularly attractive woman, but you know the men will have a look, and that's, well, all, that's you, what it is. You well, know, control yourself. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Salim and Yasmin Alabaya Brown. It's uh, eight forty-nine.